Hey guys, it's Dan from the Redstone Bros, and today I want to show you a really cool bank I've worked on. So, pretty simple, you type in your combination, which is configurable, and then you click this button, and if it's correct, it'll open, lights come on, and then you can just undo it if you don't want anyone else to see it, go inside, shut the doors, do your banking, and then walk out. Now what's nice about this is after a certain amount of attempts, which you can configure as well, this bank will lock until a manual reset button is pressed. Now the inside button works the same way, and when you click it, it resets the attempt counter, so it'll go back to zero attempts each time you click it. But this bank will lock out if you don't get it right in a certain amount of attempts. So now I'm going to show you how to build it. So the materials you're going to need are in this chest. So I'll give you a second to look. Cool. So what you're going to do is you're going to start by making a four high pillar with eight blocks in between. And then you're going to build another four high pillar just like that. And you're going to fill in this space with blocks. This is going to be the front of your bank. Oops, there we go. Now your button's gonna go right here. I like to put a chiseled quartz block there. So there's your button, and here's gonna be your bank vault. So you're gonna dig out a five by two area right here, and you're gonna have, you're gonna fill it in. This is gonna be the floor, and you're gonna put glowstone on the back. Now you don't have to do that, I just like it because it provides light. Now you're just gonna encase this just like this and the ceiling and then you're gonna put in your glowstone like that now you'll put your chest there but for now we're just gonna shut it off with some doors then you can grab your levers you're gonna put six across the top just like that center it over the door these are gonna be your combinations so what we're gonna do is type in the combination we want I'm gonna do something like that. Now what you're going to do is put a torch behind every lever you just flip down and you'll see they go out. Now you want to put a two wide platform behind every lever just like this and then put redstone on every block you can just like that. So now if any of these are flipped incorrectly you'll see that gets powered. Perfect. Now behind the torch or excuse me, behind the button, you're going to put a torch. And then what you're going to do is you're going to have a block on top of it, a block to the side, redstone on that, a block here, and redstone on that. Now what you're going to do is in front of this block, or in front of this torch, you're going to put a block right there with redstone on top. It should be pointing towards the torch. A block on top there. You're going to grab your repeater and... Why don't we grab the rest of this stuff? We can put that away since we've used it. Okay, so you're going to grab your repeater, put it here, put it on three ticks. Grab your torch, put it on the front of that. Redstone leading out of it, a block there, and now you're going to have your two hoppers both running into each other, just like that. Now what you're going to do is in this first hopper, you're going to put the amount of blocks that you want them to have chances. So if you want them to have four attempts before it locks them out, you're going to just put four blocks in there, just like that. And after four, uh, four attempts, they'll be locked out. So now what you're going to do is you're going to put a torch on the side of that right there, a block down underneath it, and a piece of redstone dust, a block on the side with a torch right there, block on top of that, block to the side of that, Redstone dust there, so it should be getting powered by that. A torch on the side of that. Redstone dust on the ground, and a repeater leading into that block with one tick. This is your RS NOR latch, so that when this torch turns on, because the combination is correct, this will open the door. So now we're going to wire up the door opening mechanism. So you're going to put redstone underneath this block that the repeater is running into, with a torch on the side, a repeater here, and now you'll see if we come in here, we're now underneath the doors. 
So we're going to have a torch on the side of this block, two pieces of redstone in between, and a torch on the side of that block. And then next to this diagonal from this torch, you're going to have redstone dust there and there. And now when you put a block there and there, that will power the door. And if we come around here, we can also put our lamps in. And so it'll open the door and power the lamps. So now we're going to wire the lockout mechanism. So off the side of this first torch that you put the items in, we're going to put a comparator with a block on the side, a redstone torch, and a repeater leading away from that into that other repeater and put that on four ticks. So that's it for that. Now we have to wire the reset button for the inside. So we're going to put one block here right above this so that if we put redstone dust there it won't connect here. We're going to put another piece of redstone dust and we're going to run a line out like this of blocks all the way until we get to here and on the side of this redstone dust we're going to put a block. We're going to have a repeater running into that. A block there. We can break that underneath and we're just going to run the power. So this will power this repeater and power that redstone dust. Now we're also going to come over here with the power, we're going to put a torch on the side here, put a torch on top of the hopper, and now you'll see it flashes, so you put a block on top just like that. And when that torch is updated again, it'll come back on. Then we're going to have a comparator coming out of the side of that with a block on top, a torch on the side, and then we're going to put a repeater on top of that, a block on top of that, and we're going to put redstone dust there and we're actually going to break that and put a torch there and that's it you are actually done now so you'll see we have the correct combination click the button door opens come inside why don't we now we can put down our pressure plates so we grab them put them in there and we actually do need a button again and then we'll put our button right here we can grab our chests Put those down. Now, when you click that, it'll reset. And it'll reset the amount of attempts you have. Now, you'll see if you get it wrong, we had it four times. So I click that two, three, four. Now, if I click it again, that's a correct combination, but it won't open now. Now, here's how you make a reset button if it's locked out from the outside. So you'll put a block right above that, right next to this other one and you'll put a button on that. And all you gotta do is click that button or somehow power this block. And it has to be this block because if this block is powered, then it'll power that. So power this block somehow if you wanna have a reset button. But now, if we click this again, it'll open because we just hit reset. So what's nice about this design is that you don't actually need columns on the side for this to be tileable. You only need it to be eight wide before you can start your next one, so. If this is where you start your next one, it'll actually work perfectly fine. Nothing will overlap or intersect, so you can have it just like that. And you also don't need columns to be sticking out. It can be completely flush with the wall. I built it like this to show you that it could be flush. But um, I feel like, in my opinion, columns look a little bit nicer. But you can do whatever you want. So make sure you like, comment, subscribe if you want to see more videos like this. Give us a thumbs up if that's something you do on YouTube, and I'll see you next time.